Jennifer Devlin. I am a postdoctoral researcher and I work at the Peter McCallum Cancer Centre in Melbourne, Victoria. So the role of a medical research scientist is to work to better understand the core foundations of human health and human disease. We aim to make discoveries that will give us new knowledge and that will promote improved treatment outcomes for patients. I'm what's called a cancer biologist. And this type of scientist is also referred to as a basic researcher because we work in laboratories to understand the core foundations of cancer biology rather than in the clinical setting where we research what actually happens with patients receiving treatments. So this type of research is critical for understanding what goes wrong in cancer, allowing us to better discover treatments that can improve patient outcomes. I study the biology of human cells, and this includes both normal cells and cancer cells. My research focuses on acute myeloid leukemia, which is a type of blood cancer, However, the key findings of my research will be important for all types of cancer. So as well as cancer cells, it's important that we understand how biological processes in normal cells work, because this can provide us critical information about what can go wrong to cause cancer, and therefore better ideas about how we can effectively treat cancer. In my opinion, there are two angles to this question. So firstly, basic medical research, like the research performed by cancer biologists, is important to understand what goes wrong in human cells to cause cancer. So this can lead us to identify new proteins or new pathways in cancer cells, which can be blocked by new drugs or even old drugs to more effectively treat cancer patients. And then secondly, when new treatments have been identified, either in the lab or manufactured by pharmaceutical um, agencies, it's important to show that they are effective in the laboratory to treat cancer cells. And this is critical before they can be given to patients in clinical trials. There is indeed a rapidly expanding role for consumers to be involved in medical research. And this has and will allow more patients and their families to better understand both what medical scientists do and to better understand the long and convoluted route it sometimes takes for basic scientific discoveries to be translated into clinical benefits for patients. I myself work with two wonderful consumers and it's been a great experience both for them and for me to have the chance to discuss the work that I do in the lab and how it fits into the bigger picture for patients with cancers and other diseases.